Rabbi Edelstein, who shared so much light with people all over the world. And uh, Rabbi Edelstein, you're bringing us light from the land of Israel, where the Hanukkah lights already lit, into the darkness of American exile. Thank you, Rabbi Katsin. It really is a festival of light. You know, in the Torah, we get to the month of Tishrei, when you have Rosh Hashanah, the New Year, and then you have Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, and then we have Sukkot, and uh, that ends with Shmini Atzeret and Simchat Torah, the rejoicing of the Torah, uh, very, very action-packed. And then the Torah goes silent, so to speak, all the way until Passover, until Pesach. It's the six months of winter, a time of withdrawal, a time of relative darkness, um, in terms of uh, festivals, there are no f festivals written in the Torah during that period of time. So imagine, though, that God put in our hands and he said, I'm not going to write any festivals at that time when it's raining and snowing and cold. Um, I'm going to empower you, uh, you, the Jews, to bring light, to initiate the light during that time. And there are two fabulous festivals during that time. Uh, the one is Hanukkah and the other one is Purim. And both of them were as a result of our being in spiritual or in physical danger, but either way of the nation being in great danger and of our heroic response. And because we initiated that, God responded with his light and did the miracle of Hanukkah in that particular case and the miracle of Purim. And, you know, if you go out in Israel, I wish I could take, uh, go outside now and show you um, from every balcony, uh, from every doorway uh, in Israel where everybody lights, everybody lights. Yeah, you see, you see all these dots of light and the second night, the dots get bigger until the eighth night. And, and then it's just a globe. You can have five, six menorahs in every window. It's the most magnificent thing. There's no doubt that, you, that you're seeing the light penetrate the darkness of winter. That's the power of a Jew. And uh, that's what we're all about. Thank you, Rabbi Katsin. And I wish you and all the students in RAGE um, a tremendous empowerment, a spiritual empowerment at this special time. Thank you so much. And I hope that the same way that um, you inspired us, our students will continue to share the light and the warmth with each other and hopefully with their families and many of the families just information. And uh, you gave us the direction, sharing the light. By the way, sometimes I say that we, when we come home, a person comes from a difficult day of work and he wants to walk into his home. He needs to remember about your message that what we need to do, we need to share the light with your family, leaving all the problems just outside the door and, and sharing the warmth and the light with your loved ones. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. All the best. Ciao.